you know a lot of Christians I like the old rooster out there scratching around in the yard he's looking for that worm that's all he's looking for is that worm the doctrine of eternal torment is a lot like that worm a lot of pastors are like that rooster out there scratching around in the yard and they scratch up a big nugget of gold and they just rake it aside because what they're looking for is that worm if we go back to the beginning in the garden when God talks of all the evil that would come upon Adam and Eve for their transgressions Not one mention is made of eternal torment in the afterlife. Punishment is, the day you eat of the fruit, you will surely die. And this happened. They lost their joy of peace. They became fearful. They became aware of their sin. In their anguish, they died. Wages of sin was death. And on that day, they surely died. And we have the first mention of uh, a serious, worse sin in the Bible when Cain committed murder he, he murdered his own brother and communication between him and God was that God told him that the blood of his brother cried out from the ground the life that Cain had taken by his own hands and God told him that he would be cast out from before his eyes and he would become a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth and that the earth would refuse to yield its fruits to his hands Cain said it was greater than he could bear and that everyone that saw him would be trying to slay him. And this was greater than he could bear. This was the time for God to roll out the thunder of this doctrine of eternal torment throughout the whole world but there's not one mention of it Cain's punishment was greater than he could bear but the doctrine of eternal torment is traditions of men It is the most horrid thing ever imagined from the heart of men. And it's preached and taught that if you don't believe in it, you'll end up there. But the people that preach it never, ever say that they will end up there. It's always everybody else. 